more beautiful thing in all your life. What is better than a croissant? A giant croissant. This is the woman who is the genius behind this. Maham, how did you come up with this idea? You know what, Mel? Let's grab some coffee and talk about it. I'm down. Let's do it. Here in Houston, they will have over 400 flights a day during the busy holiday period. So we are going to give you some shortcuts to flying this holiday weekend, starting off with that man over there, Tim. Tim, how do we make things easier, if that's possible, during what is a very busy time of year for you guys? Mel, wow, you are trying everything. Brand new in Texas, and look how much you've already seen. I know, I feel like I've scored. I mean, just a few weeks in Texas and I get everything. Thank you very much, I'm, I'll take it. Um, Ellery, this is awesome. We're here at Natural Bridge Wildlife Park and yes, we are about to go on safari. <laughs> uh, but first we thought, I mean, how could you resist, right? Absolutely amazing. Tell us about these guys and girls who have been hanging with us, providing great shade and giving <laughs> kisses. How's it going, Mel? Well, I just, ooh, <laughs> I nosed up. I did like a flip around upside down under the surfboard. But the best thing is, with each wave, you learn a little more. <laughs> with the right instruction, like you guys, exactly. you really can get it. Like it is something that you just try and try again. Mm -hmm. And there's little tweaks that you can fix. Dr. Shaquille O'Neal was in Houston at the weekend for the big opening of his very first big chicken restaurant in Texas and a bunch of neighbours showed up to celebrate. Houston Life went along for the party and I got to chat with Shaq about how he will use this restaurant as a platform to inspire kids to reach for the stars. Enjoy Houston. We're at Big Chicken having big fun. Shaquille O'Neal's Big Chicken has its first Texas restaurant. Woo! Welcome to Big Chicken! Houston Life was there for the party. A bunch of neighbours showed up to celebrate, including... Are you the Big Chicken around here? Yes, uh, everyone knows Shaq loves Houston. I've been living here for 25 years. Bringing us the festive spirit this morning to tell us all about the fun is Houston Life's Melanie Camp. Thank you so much. Two uh, days in a I row. I know, two days. Well, you said, you said come back every single You know, day. tomorrow we could make this a turkey, but it's Thanksgiving, and the only turkey that we'll be seeing is on our table. Oh, it's Or are you me? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you we sent Mel Camp out to explore, and Mel, what have you found so far? <sighs> Guys, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just ran up <laughs> the stairs to get this epic view, and I'm completely out of breath, but you know what, it's worth it because at the end you get to ride down really fast on this awesome raft slide. And I have owners, Letty and Monty, guys. Thanks for having us here oh, today. Oh, thank yeah. you so much for coming out. It's so much fun. I mean, this was, this is a really a passion project as much as it is a business. It is. I was out there earlier, <laughs> bending all the nails. I felt like I was, you know, more of a liability. <laughs> I you did, did one, a, though. You did a great I job. Did one. Mel Camp. You at least got one nail better, in there. And she's building the frame. She's doing so much better than I did. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think I found some of your nails, <laughs> Sophia. Like, I think, I think these are some of your nails, yeah. right? But don't worry, because look, look what happens to the nails. Hey, Rose, show us this. We don't need those nails anymore. They the get oh, magnet no. vacuumed up. <laughs> It's so cool, it's part of the safety here. I mean, we, just regular people here at KPRC, we are building a home. We're building some walls for the home. And I mean, there's a lot that goes into building. People, of course, take a long time to become master builders and we are far from that. And that's why it's so awesome that Houston Habitat for Humanity have their staff on site here and they are helping us with the build. Isn't that right, Tim? Like you're providing us with things, advice that keeps it safe yes, and make sure that we built a code, which is important. Yes, ma'am. There's a place in Magnolia where horse-powered healing happens. Kelly, horse-powered reading, it's part of a greater literacy program that you have here Correct. at Inspiration Ranch. Yeah, so we're really trying to meet the needs of our clients and it's able to help the students to connect with their learning. So Chief has an E on him. He does. Is this, this is not his usual attire, is no. it? No, <laughs> so this is a good example of one of our lessons. Katie has another name, and those in the know, 
No. Katie Zuela. Here, you will find the largest concentration of Venezuelan food in Houston. Guided by my friends, food and travel writer, my fam, and food importer, Manuel Guzman Lopez, I set out to explore what it's all about. The Pabellón Criollo Empanada is a must. If this is basically the national food of Venezuela inside an empanada. And it's really, really delicious. It is so yummy. But yeah, this is black beans, shredded beef, cheese, and plantains. And mm. Mm. Loving this. Mm. 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 Cheers! <laughs> and this is the flour that we had, all of the food that we ate today was made with this, yes. this flour. Exactly. The arepas. It's made like that. We, we make empanadas, we make pastelitos. Wait, is this the secret? Because there was, I was heard there was a secret to making it so light and delicious. All of Well, always is love, the secret. Okay? Love. Yep. I'll take that. <laughs> if you're feeling hungry, you know where to go. <laughs> Katie Zuela. Yeah.